now we're going to now we're going to learn how to create your first program okay now to do this again I've opened up free Pascal I've got nothing open it's just the standard background we're gonna click on file and then new and then we we use it we actually type in a statement called program like that okay and it goes white if it goes white it means you're on the right tracks and you can also spell then what we need to do is we need to give the program a program name what's this program going to be called well I'm actually going to call this first and after doing that you press the colon key which is to the right of L on your keyboard that colon key goes on the end of most statements that you actually use um, and you'll actually you'll actually get to understand as it go on further there is exceptions to that rule of course like begin the statement begin no colon goes on the end of that and also the very last end in the program you put a full stop in the end instead of a colon but you'll get the idea now what we're gonna do is it's the first program we're gonna use after putting the program we're gonna go begin and again it'll go white this programming language by the way is not cap sensitive if you want to have a capital for begin it's no problem it won't affect the program other programs on the other hand can be capital sensitive so just be wary new line what we're going to do is we're just going to use a statement called write ln like so open the bracket and then to the right of the colon key you'll get your single speech marks key and then what we want to do is we want to just output um, hello world or something like that, I mean I know this is a very simple program close it with the same single speech mark close it with a bracket then you want to put your colon again on the end and on the new line we're going to type in the command end with a full stop now as I've already said before the end with the full stop means it's the end of the program anything written after that end will be completely ignored now we want to run it so click on run and then run and it's going to ask you to save it. Now it's a good idea to actually save or give the file name the same as you would the program name. The reason is when you come to creating units and libraries if you don't cr give the program name the same name as the actual um, name that you save in the file you will get f you'll actually get errors um, and it won't work so it's a good habit to get in but with programs it's not a necessity you do not have to call the program name the next same as you do this file name so we're going to save it call it first and there we go it's just compiling and it's just output did you see that it flicked it flicked to black and then shot straight back to blue why is that well the pro what happened was the right to learn outputs on the screen whatever's in the brackets as you can see so it would output on the screen hello world but then what's happening it's actually getting to the next line which is end and it's ending the program and it's bringing you back to the compiler so we've got to have some way of pausing the display so that, that until we press a key it will actually stay on the screen what's going to happen okay we're going to have a new line and we're going to then go read ln put just a, a colon on the end and then we're going to go run and run and there you go it says hello world now you might notice that there's also a hello world above that and that's just the old data from the last program that we've run Pascal doesn't clear the screen for us automatically I, uh, I can't remember if actual Turbo Pascal does but this version of Free Pascal does not clear what's already in memory uh, or what was already output on the screen we'll come to how you can clear the screen later on so you just press enter on the keyboard and then we'll get back to our coding view now that's it a very very simple first program Explain just teaching you two commands. You've got your write ln and your read ln command, and uh, you've got your begin and ending in program that you've just learned. But that's just it for this tutorial.